Hi, in this tutorial we're going to create the t-shirt in Adobe Illustrator as a fashion flat drawing like we did in class yesterday. And what I would like to do is I have an 8.5 by 11 artboard set up. I'm going to file, I'm going to place, not open, my image that I would like to use. And I have a picture of this t-shirt here. And then I'm going to view, show rulers. I want to drag a guideline in the center of my neckline, so right there. Now I'm going to double click on that layer and dim the image to 50% because I'm going to trace over it. I want to lock the layer and add a new layer, locking the layer so that nothing bad happens. Now I'm going to start my drawing using my pen tool. I'm going to start by clicking at the intersection of the binding and the neckline and go in this direction. Now I'm pulling out the handle to curve the armhole and when I come up close to that point a little upside down carrot appears, click on the point and the handle will go away and down there. Now that's all I'm going to do for now. Now I'm going to pick my direct selection tool. I'm going to click in the middle of the armhole and I'm going to command C, command F, copy and paste to front and it only copied the the armhole here because it only will copy between two points. So if I click in the middle, it'll copy between those two points. And there you have, see, there is that line. Now with my pen tool, I'm going to hover close to this. It goes from an X to a slash next to the icon, which picks up that path, and I'll continue the path around. And I notice now that my fill is on, so I want to make sure that's off. And now using my direct selection tool again, which is the open arrow tool, I'm going to click in the middle of the bottom of the hem, command C, command F, move that over, and this will become my stitching line. I'm going to choose dashed line in my stroke and 0 0.5. My dashed line I would like to set at 3.5 for the dash and the gap at 1. And that'll make a nice stitching. Now if I zoom in here, and turn off my oh, sorry I'm at the neckline I'm should be at the sleeve and then turn off my t-shirt underneath I can drive my direct selection tool and I can pick up that point and I can drag that out of the way and now you can see that nice stitching okay back in business. Now with my selection tool, not the direct selection, the selection tool, dr click and drag over all of the layers and I'm going to go to Object, Transform, Reflect and I'm going to reflect it vertically and I'm not going to say OK, I'm going to say Copy. OK simply means that you are flipping over what you already have. Copy will flip it copy it first then flip it so that you have two copies of it one going the opposite direction and I also see that my fill is on over here so I'm gonna get rid of that fill is on so all my fill is gone so now I have the t-shirt sleeve stitching side seam shoulder on both sides now I'm going to connect the necklines so I'm going to zoom in Move that down. Somehow that got moved over. Using my direct selection tool, I'm going to pick up that point and then come over to this side, pick up that point holding down the shift key, and then command J. We'll throw a line between the two, which joins the two together. Now with my add a point tool, I'm going to add a point directly in the center. Sometimes it's a little tricky because it doesn't want it. It comes up with that error message, just try it again. Now with my direct selection tool, I'm going to choose that point and using my arrow keys, I'm going to simply pull that down to my neckline area. And now my convert a point tool will convert that point to handles so that I can create a curved line. Now with my direct selection tool again, I'm going to copy that neckline, this time to copy the neckline since I have three points, one in the center. Click on that center one and it will copy on either side of it to the point. Now Command C, Command F, I'm going to drag that down. Using my direct selection tool again, I'm going to pull that point 
like so. And if you look at a t-shirt, you'll notice that the binding is held on by very close edge stitching. So that's going to be a dashed line. I've already set it up at 0 0.5. And then I'm Command C, Command F, because I would like, oop, see, I did it wrong. Got to pick that center point. Now Command C, Command F gets the whole thing. Move that down using your direct selection tool. I'm going to clean up the ends of my stitching and pull them up to the seam line. So now if I turn this off, you can see that I have a nice edge stitch and a top stitch as well. So very good. So now I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom. Direct selection tool, pick up that point, pick up this point by holding down shift, command J puts the line in between there. We're going to zoom in and we're going to turn our layer back on. Using the add a point tool, we're going to click in the center, use the direct selection tool, highlight that point, arrow key down, and then convert a point tool will curve that ever so slightly. So now I'm going to zoom in again down here, and I'm going to use my direct selection tool. I'm going to find that center point, Command C, Command F. We'll copy that whole thing, bring that up as my row of stitching, dashed line, 0 0.5, and if there's any problems with the ends, you can go with your direct selection tool and fix that up. Okay, so our t-shirt's done except for the binding. So I am going to choose my direct selection tool again, and on this neckline, because I want my binding to be a separate piece, just like my sleeve, I'm going to find that center point, Command C, Command F, leave that one there, Command C, Command F again. So now we have two more copies of that. Using my direct selection tool, I'm going to move that, maybe move this, and move this. And you notice that my line is too long and I need to shorten it. Add a point tool put the point where you want the line to shorten, subtract a point tool, subtract the end point, and it shortens the line. Add a point tool, put the point where you want it to shorten, subtract that last point, and it shortens the line. So now I am going to grab my direct selection tool again, and I'm going to pick up that point there, shift that point there, command J, throws the line in there, and then I'm going to pick up this point, Hold down shift, pick up that point, command J fills in the line. So now here it is. We have a t-shirt. I'm going to turn off the back copy. We have a t-shirt that using my direction or my selection tool, I can explode into parts and each part is a separate unit so that this is a well-drawn flat that we can later on use these parts for something else or manipulate it in a nice way and fill it with color appropriately. So there you have a very basic flat done in Adobe Illustrator.